Welcome to the Body Scan. Please do your best to listen to this recording regularly and to follow the instructions as best you can. It's important that you take care of yourself during this body scan meditation, doing your best to stay awake and present to whatever is here in this moment. The body scan can be practiced in a warm and protected place where you feel comfortable and secure and at a time when you won't be interrupted. Dress in loose, comfortable clothing that allows easy, natural breathing. It's helpful to treat this time as a time that's totally set aside for you as an opportunity to be by yourself and with yourself fully. You're giving yourself the gift of your attention to what's true for you right here and right now, opening to the sources of strength and wisdom and healing already within you. The body scan is intended to help you learn to be fully present and awake to your physical sensations, whatever they may be. Some of the sensations you experience may be pleasant, and some may be unpleasant or even painful. You may notice that in some areas of the body, there's no sensation at all. Just stay with whatever you may be feeling from moment to moment, doing your best to notice the actual sensations themselves, aware of preferences for some sensations and the normal tendency to want other sensations, especially painful or uncomfortable ones, to be different from the way they are right now. Remember, there's no right way to feel while you're doing this. The way you're feeling is simply the way you're feeling right now. The body scan is a practice of investigating the body with awareness and compassion. Through this exploration of the body, we will be cultivating flexibility of attention. At times, the focus will be specific and one-pointed. At others, it will be broad and encompassing. Notice any tendency to try hard to relax, any striving to be in a state of mind and body that's different from what's here and now may actually create more tension. Instead, be gentle with yourself, allowing yourself to simply be aware of what's happening in each passing moment, acknowledging and meeting what's happening within yourself, looking at it clearly, and being present with it as it is because it's already here and it's part of your experience in the moment for better or worse. Use the instructions for guidance as best you can, watching your body and the activity of your mind as we go along, letting judgmental and critical thoughts simply come and go without having to believe them or make them go away. Just being interested and curious and present to thoughts as they come and go, to emotions as they come and go, and to whatever sensations may be here. You can do the body scan in any posture or position that feels best for you. If lying on your back isn't comfortable, it's really your sensitivity, your attitude, and the level of attention, and not the way you're lying or sitting that's most important. 
just letting the breath and your experience be as it is while noticing what's present for you. Allowing the breath to flow easily and the abdomen to rise and fall naturally. There's no need to adjust the breath to be any particular way. So lying on your back now, if that's comfortable, on a mat or a thick rug or on your bed, allowing your eyes to close gently, letting the arms lie alongside the body, hands open toward the ceiling, if that is comfortable for your body, allowing the feet to fall away from one another, and slowly sensing the whole body now, the length from the head to foot, the full back and front of the body, the sides. Noticing where the body is bearing weight. Perhaps noticing at the heels, the buttocks, the back, the head. Where is it lighter? Bringing attention now to the very fact that you are breathing. It may be helpful for you to place your hands on your abdomen and follow the movement of the breath as it expands the abdomen with the in-breath and then flattens again on the out-breath, sensing this movement of breath both from the inside and from the exterior of the body. On this next breath, directing the focus of your attention from the abdomen all the way down the left leg, coming to the left foot, and now focusing on the big toe of the left foot. Noticing what sensations are perceptible to you right here at this part of your foot. What do you notice with the other toes of the left foot? Perhaps there's a sense of dryness, of moisture. Perhaps it's the touch of the air or the feeling of a sock or stocking touching the foot. Noticing what's here for you. And if there's no sensation, being aware of that. Moving from the toes now to the sole of the left foot, the ball and the arch, the heel. Discovering what sensations you find here. and moving to the top of the left foot. Aware of sensations at the skin and also perhaps deep into the foot itself. And now expanding this focus of attention to include the entire left foot. Broadening your focus. Noticing any sensations that are here for you now. And as you notice, taking a breath with this awareness, simply breathing in and out with the attention on the left foot.
moving now to the left ankle, circling the ankle with this investigation. The bones and the tendons, the skin. Moving further up the leg, coming to the area between the knee and the ankle, the lower leg. Sensing perhaps pressure at the back of the leg, the touch of clothing, any sensations at the shin. Moving now to the left knee, circling this part of the body with this focus of attention, exploring the underside of the left knee, the hinge of this joint, the kneecap, any sensation that you find here. As we explore the body in this way with curiosity and interest, you may find that certain parts of the body are difficult to focus on. If that should happen, please know that it's fine for you to bring attention to the breath. Stay focused, knowing that you have made a conscious choice As you can, direct your attention once more to wherever we are in this body scan, knowing always that you are following your own wisdom. Exploring the left thigh now, perhaps sensing the weight and the strong muscle of the thigh possibly aware of pulsation, circulation moving within this part of the leg. Coming right up to the place where the thigh bone rests in the hip socket. And now broadening, lengthening awareness to include the entire left leg aware of the thigh and the knee, the lower leg and the ankle. Sensing the scope of this part of the body and breathing with this awareness. Being present to whatever is here for you in sensation right now. Directing the focus of awareness now from the left hip across the pelvis, coming to the right hip, and now directing this focus all the way down the right leg, coming to the right foot, and now finding the toes, the big toe, and all of the other toes of the right foot. What's here? What do you find at this part of the body? Pulsation, temperature. Noticing now the sole of the right foot. The ball of the right foot and the arch the heel. Can you feel any contact that the heel may be making with the surface that you are resting on? And coming to the top of the right foot. Exploring deep within this right foot. Broadening now, opening your attention to include this 
whole right foot. All the sensations at the surface of the skin, whatever sensations may be here deep within the foot, and breathing. Breathing with this focus on the right foot. Aware now of the right ankle. The front and sides of the ankle, the back. moving from the ankle to the lower right leg, the front of the leg and the back, the sides, this area between the ankle and the knee, the calf muscle and the shin bone, noticing now the right knee How is this knee bent? How do you sense this? Is it flat? Slightly bent? What sensations let you know this? And now the right thigh. Sensing at the surface of the skin and also deep within. Perhaps temperature, perhaps pulsation, finding what's here for you. And sensing the thigh bone as it rests in the hip socket. Broadening the focus of attention to include the entire right leg, the ankle and the lower leg, the knee, the thigh, breathing with this focus of attention. Acknowledging how you are knowing sensations in this part of your body. Moving to the tailbone, the base of the spine, perhaps feeling a pressure here of weight, contact, aware of sensations at the buttocks, the lower torso, the anal region, the genital region, the pelvic bowl, perhaps feeling the breath right here at this pelvic basin, noticing sensations with muscles and skin and perhaps deep within this part of the body. Moving from this area of the pelvis to the lower abdomen. Sensing the undulation here, the muscles moving, expanding, returning to center, breath by breath. Staying with these sensations, this flow of in-breath and out-breath for a few cycles. Moving to the back, the lower back, this area of the body that offers so much support. Just sensing how you feel this now what contact you may notice, any sensations in the muscles.
and moving from the lower back to the middle back, this area by the waist. From here, moving to the very bottom of the rib cage, moving up the back, sensing the expansion and return of the rib cage as the lungs expand and the rib cage opens, muscles expand to invite the breath into the body. And then breathing out, the rib cage once again comes back to center, sensing how you actually feel this movement at the back, perhaps even noticing the sensation of the lungs, the back of the lungs, the back of the heart, the subtle movement of the back as the breath undulates through the body. The shift of contact, the subtle shift of weight, noticing what's here for you with your body, with your back. Aware of the shoulder blades the backs of the shoulders, the back of the neck, and holding now the entire back in awareness, the width of the back and the full length of the back, as if we could take a breath in right at the base of the spine, and as we Breathe out, allowing this breath to move through the entire back region with awareness. Investigating with attention and curiosity the domain and region of the back. Moving focus now to the front body, to the area of the stomach, possibly feeling deep within the stomach some sensations of digestion, sensing the breath here and the movement that's perceptible at the stomach region. the fluctuation of the diaphragm muscle and how this plays with the movement of the stomach. Coming to the region of the chest Here, too, noticing movement, expanding, returning to center, breath by breath. Aware of the sensations at the skin, the muscles, the breasts, perhaps deep in the body at the chest, aware of the beating of the heart, the flow and movement of the lungs. Possibly even sensing how the heart is cradled between the lobes of the lungs. Exploring this region of the heart, of the chest.
with this awareness at the chest, breathing in and breathing out. Noticing all the sensations of this flow of the breath. Coming now to the shoulders. The front of the shoulders, the tops of both sides of the shoulders, the backs. Aware of sensation here. Perhaps as you breathe in and breathe out, noticing the movement here, how the shoulders have a slight shift with each in-breath and out-breath. Moving awareness now from the shoulders down both arms, moving from the upper arms, the elbows, the lower arms and wrists, coming to the hands. Noticing now what position are your hands in? What are they making contact with? Is there an awareness of temperature, of dryness or moisture? Sensing the backs of both hands, the palms, the fingers and fingernails and thumbs and the nails of the thumbs, the joints of the fingers, the knuckles, Possibly feeling pulsation deep within the hands. Expanding the focus of awareness now to include both hands and breathing with this awareness. Coming to the wrists, back of the wrists and the underside with the more delicate skin, possibly feeling pulsation of circulation here with the lace of blood vessels at this part of the body. The lower arms the bend of the elbows, any sensations on the outer or inner part of the elbows, the upper arms, sensing the experience of both arm bones resting in the shoulder sockets. broadening the focus of attention to include both arms. Noticing the wrists and the lower arms, the elbows and the upper arms. And breathing with this focus. Moving to the area of the neck and throat. Sensing the muscles at the neck, at the back of the neck, the vertebra. 
at the neck. The ability to swallow, to speak, to breathe. Possibly feeling this breath right here at the throat as we breathe in and breathe out. From the area of the throat, moving now to the jaw, sensing the hinge at either side of the face, the possibility of allowing the jaw to be slack, noticing what's here for you, what sensations are present at the chin, following from the jaws to the sides of the head. The region of the ears. This ability to hear in this very moment. Noticing any sensations at the outer ears or at the inner ears. Moving to the back of the head. Noticing any sensations of contact or pressure. The tiny muscles of the scalp. Any sensation of the cranial bones. Possibly even feeling the weight of the brain responding to gravity. The crown of the head. The top of the head. Moving to the forehead. Spanning across the forehead from one temple to the other, noticing what sensations are perceptible to you. And now the region of the eyes. All of the muscles and skin. The eyeballs as they rest in their eye sockets. the bridge of the nose, the nose bone and the nostrils. Sensing a breath right here at the nostrils, noticing these thin columns of air flowing in, noticing a temperature, and then breathing out, noticing sound and temperature right here at the nostrils. the cheeks and sinuses, all of the many, many muscles of the face, the touch of the skin as the air touches the face, the region of the mouth, the lips, the interior of the mouth with the roof, the sides of the mouth, the back, the teeth and gums, the tongue resting on the floor of the mouth. Sensing the entire face as if we could breathe right from deep within the head, breathing through the face. Noticing all sensations here at the eyes and ears the mouth and nose, the jaw, the cheeks, the forehead, 
expanding this focus of awareness to include the entire head, the sides and back of the head and the top, any sensations at the brain. Breathing with this awareness. And broadening now, expanding the focus of awareness to include the entire body, the entire back body, the front of the body, the sides, the fingertips, the crown of the head, and the soles of the feet. Sensing the envelope of the skin, how touch and contact are perceived right here at the skin. The experience within the body, within this envelope of the skin. Sensations, perhaps, of movement, of circulation, of pulsation, of digestion. Sensations that are strong and some that are subtle. Being present to this entire body, filling the body with awareness. Breathing in and breathing out with this awareness. If you'd like, you could imagine sweeping through the body from the crown of the head through the soles of the feet, using as many breaths as you might need, and then reversing, breathing up from the soles of the feet up through the legs and lower torso, the upper torso, the hands and arms, shoulders, neck and head. Breathing with awareness Sensing this bodily presence, this ability to be awake to our experience, knowing the language of sensation in this body, acknowledging your ability to care for yourself in this way, through attending consciously to the moment-to-moment -moment experience of this body, mind, and heart. Resting in the awareness that's present for you through the body. Resting in this breathing body until the bells ring. <laughs>